Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the leveling foot on your washer. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's lost or damaged, causing your washer to shake excessively while running. For this repair, you'll need a 9 16 wrench, a pair of channel locks, and a pair of pliers. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is our washer here. It's a KitchenAid, and this is what we're going to use for our repairs. Keep in mind, yours might be a little bit different at home but the same techniques should still apply. Now we're gonna grab a pair of channel locks and we're gonna remove the water hoses. Make sure before removing the water hoses that you do turn off the water. And when you take the water hoses off, just keep in mind there might be some water still in the lines. So now we're gonna remove our drain hose. We're just gonna use a pair of pliers, pinch that clamp in, move it up, and pull the drain hose off. Keep in mind there still might be some water in there, so keep a towel or something handy nearby or a bucket to drain that into. Now that we've got everything disconnected, to get to the feet, I wanna move this out from the wall a bit. And I'm just gonna tape it back So now you can see here, we've got our two front feet a bit beat up and pretty rusty. So I've got a 9 16 wrench and we're going to take these off. All right. So now this one isn't quite unscrewing with the bolt. The bolt is uh, loose on here. So I'm just going to move the bolt down a little bit farther. So what happens is when you screw this nut up all the way, it stops the foot from wobbling and screwing itself on more or unscrewing itself, causing the washer to be on level. So now, because I can't turn it by hand, since this is really rusty and old and worn out, I've got a pair of channel locks and I'm gonna grab onto that and I'm gonna start unscrewing it. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. And this one, a bit easier to get off. Unfortunately, the nut is stuck on there. While this is still on, what I'm gonna do is just grab on here to the foot and see if I can loosen up this nut a little bit. There we go. and that will come off as well. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna remove this nut from the old foot. These are a bit rusty, but that's all right, it'll work. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement foot. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. All right, so now I'm gonna take our old nut and I'm gonna screw that back onto this foot here. And that goes on pretty easily. All right, so that's on there good ways. And now we can screw it back on to the bottom of the washer here. And we'll just keep screwing it on until it gets to where that nut is. Now it's nice and tight. We'll do the other side too. So we're screwing on the nut first. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. If you don't want to put the uh, old nut on your foot, you don't have to. It does make life a lot easier though, so that your foot won't adjust itself. But the particular feet that I have right now do not come with a nut. So that's why I'm using the old ones on this one. And now we'll screw it back into the washer here. There we go. That's screwed on all the way up to the nut. We can stand the washer back up again. And slide it back into place. Okay. 
And now we'll reattach all of our hoses. We're going to put our drain hose back on. And to do that, we're simply going to squeeze the clamp, move it up a bit. We're going to attach this back to the connection here. And once that's pushed all the way down, we'll get our players again. Grab that clamp and wiggle it down. And now we've got a nice secure connection. And now we're going to screw our water hoses back on. Make sure you've got your hot going to your hot and your cold going to your cold. On this model, it's labeled C and H. Once you've got that screwed on nice and tight, grab your channel locks and tighten it the rest of the way. And we'll do the same thing for the other one. And then we can turn our washer back around hook everything back up, and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcapplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.